All right. Uh, good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor to deliver this uh, statement uh, on behalf of uh, Ukraine, Albania, Andorra, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Canada, Chile, Costa Rica, Croatia, Cyprus, Czechia, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Georgia, Georgia, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Latvia, Liberia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Marshall Islands, Monaco, Montenegro, the Netherlands, New Zealand, North Macedonia, Norway, Palau, Poland, Portugal, Republic of Korea, Republic of Moldova, Romania, San Marino, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, Uruguay, and the European Union. We condemn in the strongest terms the Russian Federation's illegitimate attempts to organize Russian presidential elections in temporarily occupied areas within the internationally recognized territory of Ukraine. Holding elections in, in another UN member state's territory without its consent is in, is in manifest disregard for the principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity. Such elections have no validity under international law. We recall the United Nations General Assembly's resolution ESS 11-4, adopted at its emergency special session on October 12, 2022, that declared the Russian Federation's attempts to hold illegal so-called referendums in September 2022 in parts of Donetsk, Kherson, Luhansk, and Zaporizhia regions of Ukraine had no validity under international law and do not form the basis for any alteration of the status of those regions of Ukraine. An overwhelming 143 countries voted in support of the resolution and affirmed core principles under international law by condemning these so-called referendums. We also recall General Assembly Resolution 68-262 of March 27, 2014, which similarly underscored that Russia's referendums held on March 16, 2014 in the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and the city of Sevastopol had no validity and cannot form the basis for any alteration of the status of these regions. We reiterate the UN General Assembly's call to all states, international organizations, and the United Nations specialized agencies not to recognize any alteration by the Russian Federation of the status of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and the city of Sevastopol, as well as of any or all of the Donetsk, Kherson, Luhansk, or Zaporizhia regions of Ukraine, and to refrain from any action or dealing that might be interpreted as recognizing any such altered status. We demand the Russian Federation refrain from holding illegitimate elections in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. We reiterate the General Assembly's call for the Russian Federation to stop its war of aggression against Ukraine and to immediately, completely, and unconditionally withdraw all of its military forces from the territory of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. We reaffirm our unwavering support for Ukraine's independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders, extending to its territorial waters. I thank you. I would like to thank all my colleagues uh, who came 
uh, to join me at delivering this statement, and uh, I think they may leave because I would like them to make a statement of my own in my okay. national capacity. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.